Man, what's up? What's happening? Man, it's your boy, man. The Robert Knight Show. You know, nice with an S. You dig what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm, man, I'm gonna get into this. Just jump right on in. I don't know if y'all know this or not. I don't know how many people, <clears throat> you know, listen to podcasts, watch, you know, whatever with the podcast shit. But I don't know if y'all know this, though, but T.I., and Jeezy had a podcast, okay? And T.I. asked Jeezy, what will it take for him and Gucci Man to squash their beef? So check this shit out. Jeezy said, my right before he got locked up, him and Gucci sat down, him by theyself, in a fucking sushi bar. Okay, N- none of they niggas around, no entourage around. They sat down and they might talk like men. So T.I. asked him, like, so, like, you know what happened? He was like, bro, it was so close. He was like, you wouldn't believe it. He was like, it was that close to this shit, like, totally being over. <clears throat> Excuse me, these folks finna make music together. Like, my, they feel like, my, you know, bring bring this shit back together. You know, because T.I. kept it real, man. He so 100. He like, hey, man, it's, you know, you know, with that trap music, man, you know, that man, you know, that Mount, you know, that Mount Rushmore, he said it's three people. He like, you know, it's me, it's you. And he like, you know, it's the elephant that's, you know what I'm saying, in the room, you know what I mean, which is Gucci, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, man, for them to have that conversation, man, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, my Jeezy, man, you know, like, man, he like, before he went to jail, that they, they sat down and had a conversation, he said it was great, but he was like, man, you know, T.I. was like, man, you know, uh, he just want to get them three in the room. Gucci, Jeezy, T.I. No entourage, no homeboys, no none of this shit. Just them. You know what I'm saying? And, man, you know, my did be the biggest trap movement ever of all time. You hear me? If Jeezy, Gucci, and T.I. can squash that shit, I'm sure Gotti gonna be brought along in there. They can't do it without getting Gotti. <clears throat> because Gotti part of it too. You know what I'm saying? So, my, my, bro, we, my, keep your ears, my, my, close to the streets, my. Keep your eyes open, my, and stay tuned to this channel. I'm telling you. Because I don't know if a lot of people know about this podcast, but T.I. Podcast is called Expeditiously. You can go back and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus is actually mentioning Gucci by his name, Gucci. He, you know, like, T.I. actually saying Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, man, it's a fucking epic-ass podcast. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm asking y'all to go back. If you got iPhone podcast already on your phone, just type in T.I. and, you know, whatever. I, I, I can't give out it on the channel. Y'all go to go find it. But T.I. got a podcast with Jeezy. And, bro, I really do think that, man, they finna put this shit behind them. You know what I'm saying? Man, I really do think they finna get in the room and squash this beef. So what y'all think, man? You know what I'm saying? What y'all think about that, man? Do y'all want to see them squash the beef? You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready to hear some T.I., Jeezy, and Gucci music? Plus, you know, Gotti coming along, too. Man, I'm here for that. My God and Gucci had some of the best fucking trap CDs of all time, man. Of all time, dog. Come on, let's be honest. When God and Gucci was together, man, bro, they was killing the mixtape, bro. They was killing this shit. I was surprised that, you know, God, you know, didn't, 
you know, do the 1017 shit, but you know, he always had CMG. You know what I'm saying? Before the Migos, before all of them folks, man, before everybody, my Gucci was fucking with God and Mike. This shit, they, they fell out. My the Migos, how big as they is, where they spoke, I mean, uh, where they hit, and all the other rappers who Gucci helped out, they were supposed to be got it. But got it end up getting it anyway, though, because he a Memphis nigga. He still went and got CMG off the ground. He still end up, my goddamn, going platinum off of uh, goes down in the DM. He still was able to sign artists and making them rich from Memphis right now. So he still was able to do his thing. But Gucci, my still, you know, a lot of motherfuckers who had never heard of Yo got it. Man, you know, man, you know, shit, Gucci helped God to get out there now. Man, the mixtape helped God a lot. My Gucci was up, man. Let's be honest. Gucci ain't have to do no mixtapes with God and man. Gucci ain't have to do them motherfuckers, dog. He was straight. He could have really done them himself. You know what I'm saying? But, man, <clears throat> man, it's finna be some shit. And when it happen, man, y'all gonna get it here first. But go back and watch their podcast, man. Go back and listen to it. Man, them folks I already had sat down at a sushi bar. In real life. And he said they sat there for a minute. And they talked. He, he said they talked, talked. He was like, bro, it was so close. You, you, man, you wouldn't believe it. That's how great that conversation was. <laughs> bro, I hope everybody down for it. What you down for? You're, y'all want to see the biggest trap beef ever? Like big and pop shit be squash, bro. That'll be the biggest shit ever. Do you think that that'll be the biggest beef squash ever in the industry, or do you think it's still big and pop if they would have squashed that shit? Let me know in the comments. What's the biggest beef that if it's squash, it'll be the biggest news of all time? Who? Because I say Jeezy and Gucci. Who you think, though? Comment below. And my, hey, I remember, man. I love all y'all.